So what's up guys, today I'm out fishing a pretty remote part of Arizona. This is on the reservation I grew up on. Um, it's called Benito Creek. It's a few hours, it's about an hour and a half from the nearest town. It's pretty remote, it's a little, little canyon and it's a pretty small river, pretty clear. So I've just started, I've been fishing about 30 minutes and I haven't even caught anything yet. Oh here, oh just, just had one on. Nice little wild fish though. And, he, and there is a potential to catch a wild Apache. I know Benito, little Benito has Apaches. So our car is parked at the fork of the of the big Benito and little Benito. And we walk down maybe about a half mile and I'm gonna fish up and maybe later I'll go and fish the little Benito. But right now I'm in the big Benito. It is really, really tiny river, clean, clear. It's remote and right now it seems to have some picky wild fish. I just dropped one a few minutes ago and then just now as I was talking I had another little one on and dropped it. But I'm fishing this cool little ripple right here. And this cool little river riffle. Just Euro style nymphing. I have just one fly on though. It's real tiny. I have one fly on, a real short leader, like maybe two or three feet tip it from the cider to the point fly. It's only about three feet. But I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully I'll be able to pull some, some fish. The river's pretty Pretty tiny, really tiny, really shallow. And I'm just switching them, it's gonna, I just put on 6x and I'm trying to stay low, keep a low profile. Just spooked a few browns and just had one on. So I'm starting off with a size 16 soul bug, it's tiny little. Still no fish yet. I've had a few takes, had a few on, but Nothing in net yet, and then I've been spooking a bunch of fish too. Super clear creek, really tough fishing. Finally, yeah, first fish of the day. Little tiny brown. A little wild brown it took me a while, but finally got my first brown of the day. Let's let him go. There we go. Finally, two fish back to back. Second fish of the day. Nice little brown. Yeah. Another baby brown. After blanking for about the last hour, a few fish on. Number three for today. Here we go, another one. Took a squirmy. Another beautiful brown, pretty little fish.
Oh yeah, check it out. He's got that weird bug on him. I don't know what that is. Yeah, finally a nice fish. Oh. Finally a decent brown for this river anyway. Feisty brown. Oh, it came off. Another little brown. Took a little print snip. Pretty little fish, though. Finally another fish. Another one. <laughs> nice little wild brown. This might be my last fish here for the day anyway. We just took a lunch break, now I am fishing the Little Benito. We just fished below the fork of the Little and the Big Benito. Now I took the upper fork and I'm just working my way up the Little Benito. It's really tiny, it's small water. Small, clear, so the whole day's been pretty tough. I've only had like 15 fish so far. 
dropped a few, but it's been a really tough day. Probably spooking a lot more fish than I think. Nice, so we just took lunch break. Just took a nice little lunch break and now I'm up fishing. I'm fishing my way up the Little Bonito. And this is the first fish on the Little Bonito. Yeah. Oh, it came off. Yeah. This might be the fish of the day. Yeah. It's a nice little 10 inch brown. Probably not the fish of the day, but one of the better fish. Took a little check nymph, feisty little thing though, wild, feisty, caught him over that little boulder. I'm still up a ways on the little bonito and haven't had the patience to really fish as good as I should be, but I'm spooking a ton of fish. Looking around, I'm spooking fish everywhere, but I'm, it's just really cool to be up here. Fished the big bonito this morning with my dad. We fished about four hours, and I think I had about 15 fish. Dropped about four or five. So overall, it, was, it wasn't too bad. It was a little, a little easier than this place, but it is a really tough river. So overall, it's a pretty good day. But it looks like I'm gonna call it call it a day here.